lots of calls and emails about our next story this evening. A group of elderly people from East Devon say they face losing their homes in a row over how many weeks a year they can live in them. Eight families admit they signed documents when they moved to Blossom Hill in Dunkerswell, agreeing they were holiday lets. But they also claim the park owners told them not to worry, as the council wouldn't enforce the regulations. The company denies this. Here's Hamish Marshall. For five years, this lodge has been home for Linda Avery and her husband. It was just the perfect place. We've always wanted to be by the sea, just for the rest of our days, really, hopefully, to be happy and to do what we wanted to do in. But there's a hitch. They only have permission to be used by holidaymakers. Many owners, including all four who we spoke to, said they were told the same thing by the company which owns the park, the Dream Lodge Group. It is a holiday park. But we have a number of people here, and they've lived here for years. The council turned a blind eye, and it's perfectly okay. In an effort to make themselves legal, eight of the lodge owners here applied for planning permission so they could live here all year round. The local parish council supported them, but the planners at East Devon District Council rejected their application. It said it wanted to protect the stock of holiday accommodation in the area, and that there weren't enough services for people to be living here all year round. Now the council has given them a year to comply with planning permission. I think the council want us out. Are they going to rehouse us? I'm 75. <laughs> Can they put me out at that age? I don't know. In a statement, the Dream Lodge group said it wasn't aware of any staff member advising that the council turns a blind eye. It also said all purchasers are made fully aware that the company has a holiday license and the lodges are to be used as a holiday home only. Each purchaser signs two agreements that says that clearly state the lodge may not be used as a main residence and it annually asks for proof of an alternative residential address. Some of the owners fear losing at least £150,000 if they have to sell, putting everything they've worked for at risk. These residents are pinning their hopes on an appeal to be decided in the new year.